Generally, people come to this temple, they are very devoted to the deity. Uh, they offer their respect, flowers and other things, make the regulatory process circumvent. Uh, this is nice beginning, but one has to go above this. One has to know who is actually bhakta. With that, not as bhakti issue, uh, One has to do good for others. That is Madhvamadika. If I become satisfied only with this regulatory principle for worshiping deity in the temple uh, and following the regulatory principle daily, but if I have no other idea, then sabhakta prakita smitaha. Prakita means on the material platform. Such devotee can fall down at any moment uh, because he is on the prakita stage. Uh, and prakita means this uh, gunavai prakriti. It is very strong. Uh, so any devotee can fall down if he remains prakita uh, So he has to raise himself above this. Uh, and the Madhavadika. So uh, here it is said that Sanirmiti Su Nirvishta Bhumti Bhuti Su Tadguna. So we are not enjoying actually. We are enjoying the interaction of the three modes of material nature. And we are thinking uh, the same thing as my Guru Maharaj used to say. The licking of the bottle of honey. Uh, that is not real honey. You have to open the bottle of the honey and lick of the real honey. Then you will get taste. Uh, that is advancement of uh, spiritual uh, knowledge. Satam prasangad mama vija sangvida bhavanti ritkannara sāna katha. Therefore, if we do not associate with the advanced devotees, uttama uh, dhikari. Uh, if we simply want to remain in the lowest stage of devotion and sari, uh, then we are not making progress. Uh, then we shall simply enjoy the uh, material field uh, without entering into the spiritual platform. Bhunte, uh, bhunte, bhūte su tad guna. We have to rise above the uh, modes of material nature. Nidguna. Triguna viṣaya veda nistariguna bhavārjuna. That is the statement of Bhagavad-gītā. In the Vedic instruction, triguna. Vedic instruction is dealing with the three gunas the three material modes of nature. Nishtai guna bhavārjuna. Nishtai guna, what is that? Because when Krishna was asking Arjuna to fight, he was in the traiguna platform, in the material platform. He was thinking, how shall I kill my grandfather? How shall I kill my teacher? How shall I kill my brother? How shall I kill my nephew? This is traiguna vicha, consideration on the material platform. Uh, then Krishna said, nistraiguna bhavajana, just become transcendental to the material modes of nature. Uh, what is that transcendental material nature? I am asking you to fight, you do it. That is nistraiguna. Uh, Krishna is asking him, Ah, oh, that is nistaiguna. Triguna Bhisaya Veda Nistaiguna Bhava. This is Guna or Nirguna, these two words are there in the Vedic literature. When you speak of Guna, uh, that is means these three gunas, three material modes of nature. And Nirguna means 
above these three material modes of nature. So actually, devotional service is above the three modes of material nature. Sagunal samatitta etana brahma bhuyaya kalpa. So, when you are actually in pure devotional service, sarvapadhi vinimuktam, being freed from the uh, interaction of the three material modes of nature, uh, that is real uh, transcendental stage of devotional service. So we have to try to go to that platform. Otherwise, uh, we shall remain a prakita bhakta, as it is said here, bhumte bhuteshu tad guna. Uh, we have to become transcendental to the three modes of material nature. Uh, that is not very difficult. Simply one has to become very serious and sincere, that's all. Uh, as there are directions in the shastras, uh, as I was speaking in this morning, the shastra, uh, just like Rupa Goswami has given instruction in the nature of devotion, how to prosecute, uh, he begins in the uh, characteristics of devotional service. He says, uh, uh, this verse, annavilāsitā sunnam jñāna karmā dhanābhitam ānakullena krśnā nusilanam bhakti duttam. So we have to begin from this uttama bhakti. Uttama means nirguna or Transcendent. Uttama. Uttama udgata tama. Ut means transcendent. When you surpass, tama, tama means this material world. So, anukulena krishna na sridham bhakti uttama. That is uttama bhakti. That is transcendent as well. So, if we uh, execute devotional service with some material purpose. Uh, that purpose may be sad, but you cannot rise to the transcendental platform. Uh, so we shall be very careful that uh, we may not take to devotional service, uh, even though we take it, still it is recommended that you prosecute to go on with the devotional service by the regulative principle. Then you come to the Uttama platform. There is no question of disappointment, but we must know that we, if we remain on the material platform, uh, then we have to take so much time. Uh, from the material platform, we have to go to the spiritual platform. Uh, that means uh, we require to follow the regulatory principles very strictly and sincerely, then we will be promoted to the nirguna platform. Without performing the regulative principles, one cannot come immediately, all of a sudden. Uh, maybe by the grace of Krishna one can come, but the regular way is, first of all, let us follow the regulative principles strictly, then gradually we shall be purified and come to the uh, spiritual platform and that will be successful, uh, a success of our life. Thank you very much.